A December patch has been confirmed by 343 for the MCC, and two major complaints from the community that 343 will address within this patch. So stay tuned throughout the whole video to understand all the details. How's it going everybody? It's Kevin here once again, giving you our news and informational video when it comes to Halo. If you like these kind of videos, make sure you tap that like button. Let me know you want to see some more content like this because it greatly helps out the video and channel. So let's get right into the content here. Ever since the release of Season 4 and Halo 4 onto the MCC, a lot of people have been seeing a nice surge in population. It's been really fun to play. I've been streaming on my Twitch channel, link in the description down below if you guys want to check it out. But not everything has been peachy, rainbows, and sunshine. There have been two bug complaints mainly running through the MCC community, that being the weapon skins for Halo 3 and the lighting on those, and also chat filtering. And how these two issues actually could potentially affect the decision December patch and how they're looking to kind of combine that into with everything going into the MCC for the December patch update. So we're gonna go into the blog post recently posted up by Postums on Halo Waypoint and break it all down for you guys so you can understand everything that's going on with this. So in this blog update by Postums, they go into talking about a little bit of the text and voice chat can, uh, issues people have been having with it. Essentially, just kind of go into your settings, mix that up a little bit if you want to. Uh, they talk about the December game update. Now, they don't really mention anything about exact content that's going to be in this. Uh, uh, I'm sure a lot of people, your first assumption is going to be the custom game browser. We would get a proper flight for that, and a update or a patch doesn't exactly sound like a flight. If, if it was going to be a, a December flight, it would say December flight. So I think this is going to be mainly a bug fixing kind of update, which I think is going to be kind of the main process moving forward with the MCC. The Postums goes ahead and states here saying, over the course of this week, the community has found and discussed several bugs relating to the most recent launch and game update. A bug relating to lighting on Halo 3 weapon skins and the inability to opt out of text chat filtration were two of the loudest pieces we have seen amongst the community. We briefly discussed conducting a hotfix to get these two pieces in, but if we were to go that route with the upcoming holidays, it would push the larger and already planned December patch into January. In the interest of wanting to get both the bug fix and feature called out above along with more pieces out before the end of the year, we will be working towards a single December patch for the last update of the year in the next few weeks. There is a workaround for the texture issue in Halo 3, which is just disabling custom skins for now. I don't know if this is a recent issue. I haven't really played a whole lot of Halo 3 since Halo 4 has been released with the Season 4 updates. Uh, mainly because I've been focusing so much on Halo 4 and trying to get my blue shield rank up in the game. I've been trying to get that XP grind on and Halo 3 is not very good for XP. But I don't know if this is addressing the issue that originally happened when those skins were released where the default weapon skins were actually much darker than the original skins that were in the game. Because remember, if you have custom skins enabled in the MCC, they actually provided updated texture versions of the current classic weapon skins that you have. And I did some side-by-side -side comparisons on like my Instagram page and you can see how they have a much darker color coloring when it comes to the updated higher res versions. Now what could be in this December update? They don't mention specifically anything. They do mention features which I'm assuming is probably more of a reference to the text chat options that people have been asking for within MCC but I would not expect it to be the custom game browser which I'm sure everyone hears December patch they go oh my gosh you know the custom browser is coming in not exactly, because like I said earlier, that if it was going to be the custom game browser, they would mention it as a December flight. They're saying a patch, which is most likely going to be uh, involving like fixing various issues within the MCC. Uh, if we switch over here, you can see right here, these are all the known issues within the game right now. It's a list of just like a bunch of small little issues that are not necessarily game breaking, but just something that's there that just would be something that's, you know, technically an error. Here are some globally known issues as well, like each bullet point here is an issue with the game right now of some minor details that are kind of affecting the gameplay and experience of playing the MCC. Though this patch could bring in an important feature I know a lot of you console players have been asking for and that is the console FOV slider. It was recently added into the Xbox Series X family of consoles but it was actually flighted within the Xbox One family of consoles but then later on was taken out due to some performance issues. And this is what 343 stated about that saying, an important note here is that while we did flight this console of FOV slider for consoles, this feature is not quite ready for release on all console models. 
we have seen several performance issues and need to take that into consideration before pushing it out to everything. Now, when I talked to people who had a chance to actually play with the console FOV slider, because I was only invited to the PC version of the flight, they said that they really didn't experience any issues. Though I kind of trust 343's word on this, that they might have been able to find some things that maybe a typical player might not be able to find. So they have a standard, you know, QA testing team and, you know, developers that actually look at the coding of everything within, you know, the MCC and things like that. But this could possibly bring the console FOV slider to the Xbox One family of consoles, which I would think it'd be highly likely just because of how, you know, well received the FOV slider was on console and giving it an extra month essentially before adding it to the game would certainly I feel like give it enough time to kind of iron out any issues which it sounds like they kind of had like some technical issues going on with it but nothing absolutely like oh we need to sideline this for a long time it sounds like there might be some minor things that they could they needed to spend some time to fix up and it sounds like they're doing just that though again this is all speculation it's just kind of connecting the dots at the moment but if we do get some confirmation about the console fov slider coming in with the december patch update i guarantee you, i'll let you guys know in a video as soon as we get that information so it looks like we're going to just have to wait a little bit longer before we get any kind of official information when it comes to this patch update and what's going to be involved with it for the December update in the MCC. So the, this patch update might not necessarily be like a game feature rich kind of experience, but much more just like cleanup of all the little bits and pieces that have been kind of left around and been kind of you know, put on the back burner because I've been trying to put out these games. Now that Halo 4 is out, the publishing team at 343 for the MCC can actually spend some time trying to clean up some of the aspects of the game. I mean, I really hope they fix that lighting on that one mission within the MCC for Halo 4. Uh, I highly doubt it, but I really hope they do. Now they do mention when they to expect this December update, saying coming in the next few weeks or something like that. I uh, definitely would be happy to obviously like in the month of December, most likely before uh, the Christmas holiday week. So my assumption would be if it's going to happen on Tuesday, which seems to be like the holy grail of days when it comes to updating the MCC, I would suspect a December 15th or December 8th update when it comes to the MCC. And whenever it is in that update, I'll make sure to let you guys know on this channel. If you get any, for any extra information about that update, I'll share it as soon as we get it on this channel, guys. So make sure you tap subscribe to keep yourself update with all the Halo news going on. So pretty short and to the point kind of MCC update video for you guys. If you like these kind of videos, make sure to tap that like button. It really helps out the video and channel. If you missed any content for me, check out the videos on the screen right over here. I got a link to all my news and informational videos. If you've been on the loop for the last few days or so. Thank you so much for watching. I greatly appreciate it. Catch you on the next one. Peace out.